Hi Cancer, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing great. We're going to do your reading here in a moment. Just a few things I'd like to mention in the description box. If you'd like a personal reading, my contact details are below. Also in the description box, how to enter for a free personal reading. I do give away two personal readings each month. And then lastly, there will be an extended reading link below in the description box and in the comments. If this reading resonates with you, you can check it out. From this reading, I will uh, look forward into the next three to four weeks and I treat it like a personal reading. So check it out if you like. And with that, Cancer, let's see what the energy is here for beautiful Cancerians. What does my beautiful Cancerians need to know? What's the energy here for Cancerian? Okay. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. You are in protective mode. Nine of Pentacles. Beautiful. And the Queen of Pentacles. All right. I get an energy cancer here of... Definitely with that Queen of Swords. I feel like you know what you want. You're clear about what you want here. Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Now, this could be someone coming towards you. It's not about male or female. It's about the energy. Definitely get that there could be someone coming towards you that you will be open to communicating with. But I see you protecting your heart there as the Queen of Swords. I sense here too, I'm just going to say um, in money matters, uh, you uh, may see an increase in your money upcoming here with the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. Some of you may be, if you're very focused on money and career, I feel like uh, you're going to be in a good position. But I'm also sensing here there's some sort of offer upcoming here and communication with someone. We're going to clarify and then bottom of the deck, yeah, look at that. You have the Six of Vessels, which is the Six of Cups, all right? So a soulmate energy can be somebody here from the past that uh, catches up with you. Let's see what we else we have. Okay, so we have the Seven of Cups, uh, Seven of Vessels, which is the Seven of Cups, Four of Pentacles, and we have the Six of Vessels, which is the Six of Cups, okay? So there could be somebody here, upcoming here, who has been holding back from coming towards you is what I'm seeing. And this is someone I feel with the seven of vessels, is someone I feel who may be dreaming about you or they're envisioning the possibilities here. Uh, the Four of Pentacles, they've held back though. This is someone who's held back. But I feel upcoming here, there's just someone I feel who wants to come towards you. But let's see uh, when we clarify what the energies are. So let's clarify the uh, Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here, please? Okay, we got the Knight of Wands, the Ten of Cups. We have the Hierophant, and we have the Page of Swords. Interesting. And we have the Five of Cups. Okay. Well, definitely showing me here, Cancer, that you've been disappointed in love. Uh, you may have attracted unhealthy connections or relationships or a specific person, depending on where you are in your love life. Um, could be a Capricorn as well, but... I feel like, Cancer, um, that you've dealt with people who really didn't put in a whole lot in the connection or the relationship. And I feel like somebody here, right, there was some unhealthy patterns about this person is what I'm getting here. So somebody disappointed you here. You got the Knight of Wands here with the Ten of Cups. So I see some sort of communication with someone. You got the Knight of Cups, and, uh, Knight of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. Some of you, this could be someone who disappointed you in the past, somebody coming towards you. But I'm also going to say this could be new love as well. We're going to see how this plays out with the rest of the cards. You have the Hierophant, Taurus Energy, and you have the Page of Swords. So somebody here is very curious about you. They may even be uh, spying on you or trying to figure out what you're all about or what you're doing. So, and I'm going to say here too with the Hierophant, 
I feel also that um, this could be somebody coming towards you wanting to pursue a relationship. Okay, or this was someone that you possibly could have been in a relationship in the past. Let's clarify uh, the Nine of Pentacles. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here, please? Why is the Nine of Pentacles here, please? Okay, we got Temperance, we have Sagittarius, we also have Leo, Aries, Energy, and Taurus, as I said. The Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so clarifying the Nine of Pentacles. There's angel protection here with that temperance. So I feel like this is a connection where it feels like a very stable energy, actually, because you've got the eight of pentacles and the nine of pentacles, and then you have the queen of pentacles. So this could be someone who is coming toward you, someone I feel... Um, who wants to put in the work. This could be someone that you potentially work with, but let's see what else comes out. What else can you share about the Nine of Pentacles? Okay, oh, there's that Five of Cups again. Okay, the Three of Swords. So some of you, like I said, some of you, this could be new love, someone, this could be someone that you know, but I feel like if this is a new love for you, there's been some time, I feel. Um, there's been some time in between, I feel, relationships here. And an energy here of you doing healing. Now, I'm going to say for some of you, this could be someone coming back around, somebody who hurt you, maybe even betrayed you. It does feel like this could be an energy here of timing as well. Um, you do have the hangman and you have the queen of pentacles. So this is someone I feel that um, maybe didn't value in the past and now they're seeing you differently. Again, the queen of pentacles is coming out. So this could be someone who is seeing your worth. So if this is new love, I'm going to say this is someone I feel coming towards you, but there's been some time I feel between, you know, this person and your last relationship. You've had some time, I feel, here to heal. You have the Knight of Cups. Somebody's interested. Oh boy, and look at that. The next card is the Lovers, Gemini Energy. Someone is coming towards you. And with the Lovers and this um, Temperance card, there's angel protection. There's a blessing here, I feel, that the angels are giving to this connection. Let's clarify that Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here, please? Okay, the Sun card, Leo energy, and the Hermit Virgo energy. We've got the Five of Wands, and we have the Devil. Okay interesting and we also have the queen of wands well someone here is very very attracted to you is what i'm seeing there you have the sun card and you also have the hermit so someone has definitely been thinking about you they're seeing your worth there is the queen of pentacles this is someone i feel that uh, they see the potential of happiness with you however you do have the five of wands and you also have here the devil could be uh, dealing with a capricorn this could be someone, um, I'm just going to say, uh, this person could be someone who is jealous, may get jealous easily. They may feel like there's competition. Um, that could be why this person is spying on you or curious. Um, I'm also going to say that uh, if this is someone who hurt you or betrayed you in the past, there could have been... Um, other people around this person, okay, other temptations, uh, could also be drama, there could be drama, um, but this is someone who's been spending a lot of time thinking about you, is what I'm getting there, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck, some of you, this may be, right, a temptation, or someone that you've had a hard time letting go, you have the queen of wands, the ten of swords, 
some of you I get here too, right? Single, dating, attractive type of energy. You're looking forward towards the future, even though you've had some difficult times, right? With this Ten of Swords, it's telling you things are going to get better. I feel like with this King of Pentacles, look at that. You have the King and the Queen of Pentacles. There's potential here, I feel, either for someone new that's coming into your life, depending on where you are, or there is someone here from your past. Some of you, too, I feel with this Devil and the Five of Wands. You've definitely gone through some life lessons. Look at that. I'm pulling the potential here. You got the Four of Staffs, Four of Wands energy. The Wheel of Fortune. And you also have, look at that, the Page of Vessels, Page of Cups. Okay. There's definitely an energy of someone coming towards you. Like I said, there's potential here for a relationship. I see more stability upcoming here for you. This Page of Cups. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Wow, didn't I just say it? I see... I see more potential here. I see a relationship. And the bottom of the deck here, you have the Ten of Pentacles. So you got the Four of Staffs, the Wheel of Fortune, the Page of Cups. Some of you, this is new love. And some of you, this is someone that you know coming towards you. What I want to say here. What I want to say, Cancerian, is that you know your worth here with this Queen of Pentacles. And you have struggled in the past here, I feel, with this Five of Wands and the Devil card, right? Maybe repeating uh, patterns with uh, people, um, you know, attracting the same type of person, whether they have addictions or narcissistic or they're just not healthy people for you. I feel like you have spent some time alone, Cancer, and really thought about the potential here, um, you know, just in love and relationships, right? You know your worth. You know what you want here is this Queen of Swords. You make more logical decisions, I feel, here than you have in the past. You're really in a stable energy here with this Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like Cancer, take it how it resonates um, because... There's a lot of you out there, and some of you, this is someone I feel, because the Knight of Wands is not always someone returning. It can be a new love. And you got a page of vessels here. So Cancer, you know, I'm going to say here too, there could be multiple energies in here, because you got the Five of Wands here as well. And in that Five of Wands, there could be a new person. But there's a new cycle here about to begin in your life that's bringing stability and I feel there's someone coming towards you. I'm going to say, Cancer, I feel like a lot of you, this could be a new person, a new person coming in for you that could be quite stable here. You also have here the Ace of Swords. It's telling me there's a new beginning. There's a breakthrough here. I see um, <clears throat> possibly upcoming communication here from someone. Someone is very curious about you. This could also be someone, if you're dating online, I would say if you're not dating um, I, and you want someone in your life, I would say get out there and start dating, okay? There could be someone on your social media or someone um, online that you start talking to. And I see potential of a relationship. Some of you could be a past person, but I'm really picking up new love here. We'll see in the extended where the energy goes over the next uh, four, three to four weeks. And then I will, for those of you who may feel this is a past person, I will look at, at that energy as well. Let's pull some um, guidance cards here. What can you share with Cancer? What else does Cancer need to know? I feel like this is really good energy. Your energy is amazing, Cancer. Um, what I see here and I feel like your money is going to increase if that has been any worry to you Okay, things are going in your favor here with that wheel of fortune So let's see what the guidance is here for cancer Okay, we have the eagle which is number nine You will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength Beautiful, that's exactly right the the 
Queen of Swords there is definitely clear about what she wants. And with this eagle, right, the eagle um, is, I don't know if you know this, but eagles are monogamous, okay? So I feel like there could be a situation, someone coming towards you here, right, that is going to be faithful is the energy that I'm getting. <clears throat> Let's see, okay. Let's see, we got the Phoenix, okay? So number 25, be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis. And it fell right here with that Five of Cups and the Three of Swords. So there's a renewal happening in your life, right? You're rising from those ashes here, right? The universe got rid of something that was not good or healthy for you. Even if this person is coming back around, it could be new beginnings, new cycles here, right? A chance uh, to do things the right way. There's definitely with that number 25, which is seven, there is spiritual growth. You are, are growing. It shows here with your energy. Let's see what else. We also have here mountain. Know that you are protected as you face challenges, but remain cautious. Okay. I feel like they're saying here, um, you know, there's always challenges in relationships and I feel like cancer, you're really being guided to protect yourself and be cautious. That's also that energy of the queen of swords. It's number 22. Some of you could be dealing with a twin flame. Um, but this is an energy here of knowing what you want, knowing your worth, right? You want that stability and your security here. And so I feel like this is definitely an energy of you standing up. Wow, look, it's on the bottom of the deck. You have the marriage card, number 20, which is two, three twos. If you're seeing repeating twos, right, or repeat, I'm going to even say fours, uh, that's going to be definitely important. You are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. Beautiful, Cancer. So I'm going to take this to the extent and we're going to see how things play out over the next uh, three to four weeks. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.